Over the last few videos, we've been talking about an algorithm that will tell you what day of the week any calendar date would fall on. In this video, we're going to talk about month codes. So there's day codes, month codes, and year codes that have to be combined to give you what day of the week a calendar date would fall on. We've already discussed day codes. Um, in this video, we're going to discuss month codes. And in the next few videos, we're going to unpack year codes. So month codes is what's coming up in this particular video right here. So every month has a number associated with it. This is probably one of the biggest um, places where you actually have to memorize something. Um, because every month has a different number of days in it, etc. Um, this just has to be memorized. Um, and I'll give you some mnemonic devices to help you memorize this. So um, this is what might take you a little bit of time, 20, 30 minutes to actually maybe make some flashcards and actually go through and memorize each of these. But we'll try to make it as painless as possible. So the, the month codes go as follows. January is a six, February is two, March is two, April is five, May is zero, June is three, July is five, August is one, September is four, October is six, November is two, December is four. Looks like a ton to memorize. It's 12 things to memorize. So here's what I think about when I hear a, a month like November. Um, I think November, Thanksgiving, um, turkey, eating turkey. Turkeys have two legs. And so November would be a two because I think two turkey legs. Along those same lines, we can do things like that for all the month. January is six. Because when I think January, you can think winter. Winter has six letters, so that's why it's six. February is the second month of the year, so it's a two. March, you can think of the phrase March to the beat. March to the beat, so March is two. Um, April is the number five because April has five letters. When you think May, think like mayo, like mayonnaise, mayo, May is zero. When you think June, think of the word or the phrase June bug. June bug. Bug has three letters, so that would be the number three. Um, July is the number five because think of the phrase fiver works, like fireworks. You have fireworks in the month of July. August, think of the, the little mnemonic A1, like A1 steak sauce that you would put on, on a, a nice steak that you would grill. Um, September, you can think of the number four uh, for fall, F-A-L-L, -L, it only has four letters. October, uh, think of the phrase six or treat, like trick or treat, because in October, uh, most kids go Halloween trick or treating. We already talked about November, and December is the number four for Christmas or Xmas, as you can shorten it to. So Xmas has four letters you can use the number four. So if you can, you can pause the video or look away from the screen, let's, let's quiz ourselves a little bit. Um, if I said uh, April, April you'd think, oh, the April has five letters, so that's the number five. Um, how about June? That was the June bug mnemonic. Bug is three, so June would be a three, um, et cetera. So go through and quiz yourself a little bit. Uh, and when you feel up to it, let's go for a, an actual full-fledged example now. We've got day codes down, we've got month codes down. We haven't discussed year codes, so we're gonna cheat a little bit for the year codes. Um, I, here I just gave you four year codes. Um, don't extrapolate this beyond what I've shown you. Um, 2004's year code is not four, but 2000 is zero, 2001 is one, 2002 is two, 2003 is three. So let's, let's try it. Let's do three completely random calendar dates. We're going to do the day, the month, and the year code. So here we go. All right. Um, uh, if you need to flip back in the video, you're welcome to do that. December 10th, 2002. So December's month code, when I think December, I think Xmas. Uh, that was four. Okay, what about day code? Day code, you remember you can take that modulo seven. Um, 10 modulo seven would be three because whatever day of the week ten, the tenth would fall on, the third would fall on the same day. The year code for 2002, we have to cheat because we haven't really talked about year codes, is a two. Four and three and two make seven and two is nine. 
Um, nine can be taken modulo seven as well, just like the days can. So this would actually be equivalent to a two. Now, if you remember in the last video, I gave you some nice ways to remember um, your final answer, what day of the week that corresponds to. Two, uh, we would think of as two's day or choose day. So December 10th, 2002, that was a Tuesday. We did that all in our head. We have no papers or anything written down. Uh, you can check that online if you like, or uh, Siri if you have an iPhone or something like that. But uh, let's go ahead and do the, the next two examples. July 25th, 2000. I'm going to do this one a little quicker. July is five fiver works in July 5. Um, 25 modulo 7 would be 4. And the year 2000 is 0. 5 and 4 make 9, but 9 modulo 7 would be 2. Um, 2, again, is a Tuesday. So July 25th, the year 2000, was a Tuesday, evidently. All right, last one, February 11th, 2003. Uh, February, if I think of my month codes, I think of my mnemonic devices, February was the second month. That's how I did that mnemonic. So February's month code is 2. The day code for 11 is a 4 because seven, 11 modulo 7 is 4. Um, divide 7 into 11, it, get, it leaves you with a remainder of 4. And the year code for 2003 is 3. Um, add these up, you get uh, 9. Okay, I didn't really intend for that to happen. I kind of wrote these down randomly. I wasn't trying to make them all Tuesday, so that was kind of accidental. But um, 9 modulo 7 is 2. So this would be a Tuesday. So sorry they're all three the same. I was trying to mix them up there a little bit. It's kind of coincidental. But um, anyways, hopefully you at least see the process um, here where you take a month code that we just learned how to do, a day code and a year code. You add them together and you get uh, a number modulo 7 with, that's between 0 and 6 which is associated with some day of the week. These just all happen to be a Tuesday. So go check these out online, make sure we were correct. And if we were, and this makes sense, then go ahead to the next video and we'll dig into the most difficult part, which is calculating the year codes.